Hey guys, what's up? Anthony here, the sous chef over at Vernon Speakeasy. Today's Tuesday. I won't be for you, but we are celebrating Tuesday with tacos. And it's a special Tuesday because it's two, 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 two. Just kidding, that's the extra two, but it's Taco Tuesday and we're gonna do some fancy tacos. Here's the ingredients that you're gonna need. Shrimp and calamari. This is already marinated in some cayenne, paprika, salt, pepper. We have our New York strip that I've already sliced and that's marinating in uh, red pepper vinaigrette. Spring mix with a little bit of extra arugula, flour, salt, pepper, lemon juice, sriracha mayo, and our pickled slaw. That's pretty much everything you'll need. Uh, let's get over to the kitchen. We're here in the kitchen. I have really severe allergies, so if you see my eyes water at all, or I look sad, there's no crying in the kitchen, so it's not that. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is toast our tortillas. I got my tortillas. I like to double, to double up on my tortilla when I eat them. It's just, I think that's correct, the right way to go. And I'm just gonna go directly on the flame. I like, it gets really nice and traditional, like char on the tortilla. I don't like microwaving them. I mean, I can do it on a plancha as well, but I like the fire toasted. So if somebody doesn't have a gas stove, how would they? If you don't have a gas stove, you can do it in a skillet. You can just throw it. I prefer dry because it does get that nice char, but if you have an electric stove, just go straight in your pan. Uh, you, yeah, I wouldn't put it on the coil. <laughs> well, my tortilla got a little destroyed there. So this is kind of cool. When tortillas get moisture on them from sitting in the bag too long, this is what happens. They just fall apart, so we won't use that. And again, like it's a little bit of char on there. That's fine. Like that's what we want. Like, oh yeah. Even if they do get a little bit toasty, I'm gonna put them inside of my container with aluminum. They'll get nice and soft. So this is what I like right here. To me, that's done. So they stay nice and warm. And you can see I have my pan here getting hot for that steak. It's gonna be a quick saute of that steak because it's cut so thin. Something soothing about toasting tortillas. Nice. And again, it can get a little charred. That's fine. Nice and rustic. Cool. So now that these are going, I'm actually gonna crank up the heat, get that pan ready for uh, that steak. And I'm gonna do just a little oil. My tortilla is smoking a little bit. And again, that oil is just to kind of coat the pan. Now that I'm smoking, I'm gonna take this tortilla off and I'm gonna throw this meat on here. And then we want that beautiful sound and whenever we cook, right? Throw a little bit of that marinade in there. Now we just saute it. Oh man, it smells amazing. That guy's done. And we're just getting ready for the taco building. So. What nice color. And again, that steak is so thin. Just kill it from the heat. Do a little shake. That's done. So I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna start frying our uh, shrimp and calamari. Again, it's got a marinade in it, so I don't need much other than flour, salt, pepper. So I'm gonna walk this way and I'm not gonna overcrowd my flour. Just get a nice coating on that. We also have 
the elusive bread maker right behind me. So if you see him making that bread, yeah. I'm gonna try and shake this off as much as I can before um, dropping it in the fryer oil. So I'm even gonna, it just helps preserve the fryer oil. The shrimp that we, whoops, shrimp that we used is black tiger. Nice meaty shrimp. You can even throw some scallops in here if you want. Nice little fried shrimp taco and that just goes in. And I'd rather have this flour away from my frying oil. I'm just gonna do another batch. I did kind of overfill it this time around. I just wanna get this frying done. Cool, so now when you're frying shrimp and calamari, you have to listen to it and it'll tell you when it's done. You can look at it too with like, I believe in the chicken video we talked about how vigorously it bubbles. With calamari, if you over fry it, it's gonna turn into a rubber band and you're gonna have fried rubber bands. Shrimp, same way. What I'm looking at right now, it's maybe got a couple seconds left. The frying, the deep fat fryer is a very quick process. Woo! Got me a little bit. And from here, I, I believe we're done. Now we can start building our tacos. For garnishes, I like to use the spring mix and the arugula. Um, it's really a nice base for the shrimp and the steak taco. So I'm going to marinate it, and I'm also watching my shrimp as well, because again, I hate when calamari and shrimp are overcooked. So I'm gonna pull that up. Now I like to go olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper. Get a nice mixture. Again, just olive oil, lemon juice. It's a nice, fresh base. The salt, pepper brings out the flavor of the arugula, a little bit of that red romaine there because it's, it's sour, bitter, that lemon juice kind of mellows it down. Olive oil just leaves a nice mouthfeel. Since there is no marinade here, I'm going with that sriracha mayo. Nice base. We'll do our spring mix, pile on our shrimp, calamari, and then our slaw. Get that on a plate. And again, that's taco one. Taco number two. Now this guy, I'm just gonna do the herb mix. You can add the spicy meal at the bottom. It's your taco. Yeah. Gosh, if you could smell this right now. It's insane. And again, just a little bit of that slaw. Let's talk on number two. All right, thanks for watching and uh, making tacos with us. Hopefully your next Tuesday is filled with tacos. So leave us a like and click that subscribe button for us and drop a comment to let us know what kind of content you wanna see moving forward. It really helps us with the creative process and to also keep you entertained. Thanks. Oh shit, that's when I add, <laughs> that's when I add the, the follow. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, hey guys, thanks again for watching. That's how we celebrate Tuesday here. Fuck. Uh, enjoying these tacos with us. Hopefully you're... So you said enjoying these tacos? Yeah, yeah, I was like, fuck. We could always redo it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. That's how we do tacos here. Um, we'd really like it if you filled your tacos. Your That's what she said. <laughs>